bro, I got a proposition for you. Wanna trade titles? My 24 seven title that I just won off of our truth for your intercontinental title? A trade's not gonna happen, but I'll give you a chance to earn it in a match, as long as I can get a shot at your 24-7 title first. Oh, totally. But where are you gonna attack me? Catering? The loading dock? By my scooter rack? Give me a hint here, bro. I like to do things differently. Let's make it an official title match on Raw. Far out. I like the way you think, new guy. It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the 24 7 Championship! Introducing the challenger from Maryland, weighing in at 218 pounds, The Beast. This is it, guys. The title is up for grabs here. And this might be the most highly anticipated title defense in recent memory. The lock has been handed. Here comes the original. Hey, Corey. Remember when I pinned you for this title? Shut up, Saxton. It takes a lot to surprise me these days, but this one's hard to wrap my head around. The IC champion is taking on Riddle in an official 24-7 title match on Raw. The lock certainly plays by his own rules. I just hope he knows what he's doing. Spoiler alert, he probably doesn't. Power slam. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. From behind. Neckbreaker. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, enough already. And Riddle in a bit of danger. The locks showing that edge, that ruthlessness. He went right into that turnbuckle. 
Oh, this here is vintage. Snake eyes. The champ getting put to the test here. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Long fall and even harder impact. And it has got to be demoralizing just being tossed outside the ring like that. Oh, they can worry about their feelings later. Right now, they're making sure every bone's still in place. And that could be a first step towards Riddle gaining control. This could be a good chance for Riddle to unleash something devastating. And the lock's maintaining the advantage now. And Riddle needs to trust his instincts here. Delivered into the barricade. Back and forth from these competitors. Toss back into the ring. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. What a clothesline! Good grief. Those last hits rattled the champ. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Stop after stop after stop. Riddle is waning a bit now. The lock isn't holding anything back. Look at this. Riddle with a reversal. Excellent opportunity for Riddle to shift the momentum. This could be a good chance for Riddle to unleash something devastating. Big knockdown. Oh, look at for it. Back. Oh, what a spine buster! My, oh my! Wrenching the arm, DDT! You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. This could be big! of a second. But you gotta believe he'll be looking for the kill shot one more time. Lock launching attacks left and right. And Riddle needs to fight back. Oh! He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. He's trying again. Yeah, Nagi! Man, oh man. We can have a new champion! The Intercontinental Champion! you there, Cole. That's now the 24-7 champion you're referring to. Oh, look at him. Double fisting titles. They call him the lock for a reason, folks. Not sure he ever was a lock for the 24-7 title, though. But how many superstars can say they've held two titles in WWE at the same time? Impressive. The 24-7 dual champion is taking a close look at Riddle in our truths number one contender match. Looks like the champ's seen enough. Wade, here comes Reggie from behind. 
And things backstage are getting quickly out of hand. Oh, they're done playing nice. They've got some serious aggression that needs to be worked out. And this just might be the best way to do it. Shot after shot, Oof, ruthless striking. Planning on what to do next. Got the set up, and there's the power bomb. Wow! Oh, he's got him by the leg! Attack in the foot! Oh, that hurts. This is going to take some power here. Look at this strength. Absolutely impressive. Champ's got the pen to return. Baffling decision here. Coming. Super kick. Big elbow. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. He knew that was coming. Guided down with force. Off the cr Ow! Effectively using the knee. Uh-oh. Reggie counters. Now a pin for the championship. The champ easily stopping the count. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. It's the claw. Holy cow, it's the claw. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. And he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. Grabs a hold of Reggie. Spiked with a Uranagi. Cover. One, two, three. What a win by the 24-7 champion to hold on to his second title. The dual champ may not have it for long, though. Here come Riddle and R-Truth hot on his heels. And now Reggie's back on his feet, too. Looks like he's not giving up his 24-7 dreams yet, either.
The Intercontinental Champion will have his hands full defending his newest acquisition in a Fatal 4-Way for the 24-7 title. Fatal 4-Way, 24-7? Honestly, I'm worried about all truth trying to keep all these numbers in... Head. Well, I'm more worried about the defending champion. Seems to me he's losing focus with all this 24-7 stuff, and I don't think I'm the only one who feels that way. Oh, snap mail. Big boot. Taking this way back to the ring now. One step ahead of Riddle there. Vicious right forearm. Nice backbreaker. Just on the crown. Oh, with it from the top. Reggie trying to make a fool of his opponent. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. Oh, stuck between the corner and a splash. They're slamming their face down. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Yeah, but I think he's got a lot left in the tank, Cole, which he's going to need to maintain if he wants to come out on top against these three other men. Hoist it up. Bang. Snap suplex. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Belly to back suplex high on the back of the neck. Oh, man, that'll bend your arm. Look at this. Just unloading. Some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. And a nice takedown. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Kicks out at just one. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. With the lariat. He deflects it right back. He's back into the ring. Saw that one coming. Hoisting their opponent up for a fisherman buster. Reggie trying to make a fool of his opponent. Nice backbreaker. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Snapmare takeover. Followed by... Boot! Able to parry that one. No clue what he hopes to find down there. Oh, and he breaks out the pin. Just mounted with punches. And not... Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates... Truth picking up speed. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted from the top. A splash. A bad place to be for the challenger. And the fatal four-way stipulation starting to show its effects here. Oh, God. That'll rearrange your skull. Showing European uppercut. And a kick. Not so fast. To the ring, and that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Shot to the back, and a follow up elbow. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Face first into the chair. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here, no safe conflict. Champ, we're gonna end this. Curious decision there, Michael. And oh my God, what a forearm! That's a job. Forearm smack. That's right, Truth. What's up? He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Caught with a punch. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. And he goes into the ring. Ooh, harsh kick. Oh my, what elevation! Set up in the corner of the ring. Wicked clothesline. Oh, underhook. Underhook suplex.
suplex. Oh, foot just stomping down. Truth at uh oh. Our truth with a nice reversal. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. Yeah, this fatal four-way has certainly taken its toll, Michael. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly, Lock quickly moves. Oh! Into the ring again. And that'll leave our truth with a cause for concern. Truth has to gather himself, has to regain some composure now. All the way over. Forced out of the ring. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. As much fun as he has, when Riddle gets that look, you know it's business. Fishing for something beneath the ring. He's got one thing on his mind with that chair, and it has nothing to do with lounging. He climbs into the ring. Oh, my God, a steel chair! Tremendous pressure on the head and neck. And he rolls out to create some separation. He should have created separation by never coming out here. Oh, bro! Uh -oh. New champion! The pen's broken up. Here's the drop kick. Throw to sleep. German suplex. Oh, what a shot. And out of the ring he goes. Returning to the ring now. Ooh. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Tagging this outside. This could be good. What a forearm. Well timed sweep shifts the balance. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Oh, look at this. Tap out. Look at this. He let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Oh, body is. He wants it one more time. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Trying to find a way out. Several right hands, and he's out. Makes a cover. The 24-7 champion retains his title after a grueling test from Reggie, Riddle, and R-Truth. Reunited with his titles, and it feels so good. You think he has a favorite? Well, certainly feels like he's grown attached to that 24-7 title, if you ask me. Favorites or not, he's holding both titles in the air once again after another dominant performance.
You know how the 24-7 championship can be won by anyone? It sounds silly, but it's on my WWE bucket list, and I think I've got a chance. Our truth has it, and I know where he naps after filling up on Taco Tuesday. Problem is, Reggie's always taking him out too. Can you keep Reggie busy long enough for me to make an attempt? Get ready for some high-flying antics. The following contest is an Iron Man match. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 180 pounds, Reggie. Reggie is just so amazing to watch in the ring. And he's an innovative high flyer. Yeah, but he's a terrible sommelier. Reggie's so excited to come. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. And his opponent, from Maryland, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Beast. The WWE Universe delivering quite a reaction, perhaps the most highly anticipated match of the night. When I picture a prototypical Iron Man participant, I have to be honest, I don't think of Reggie. Maybe it's the Blazer. And maybe that's exactly why the Intercontinental Champion picked him for tonight's Iron Man. And it's anybody's guess, Byron, but one thing's for sure, these two superstars are about to test each other's limits. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Treading all over their opponent. Isolating the foot. Oh, that hurt. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah. And a lift up power bomb. Momentum on the side of the lock. Can Reggie recover from this adversity? The power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. This is just flat out punishment. Oh, what a slam. Lands face first. Boom. Oh, ouch. Vicious knee. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Considering how much time is left on the clock, I'm shocked it took this long for the signs of fatigue to really set in. Efficient offense leaving no breathing room. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. Oh, what a close line. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Reggie counters. Reggie trying to make a fool of his opponent. 
The lock expected that one. Good grief. Wrenching the arm. DDT. Into the cover. How in the world did he kick out? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Grabs a hold of Reggie. Inelegant exit, but if it works, it works. He heads outside, count outs legal in this match. Powerless position to be in right now. Time to attack when his guard is down. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Punch lands. Expressing pain, and now he's looking to lock in this submission. Uh, targeting the shoulder with the claw. Oh, is he gonna tap out? And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Hits him with the counter. He's hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. He's positioning himself, closing in on the top. And Reggie gets fended off. He hits the head scissors. Shoulders down. His arm shot off the mat before one. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Counters. An arm wrench. DDT. He's about to do it. He's about to do it again. Spike with a urinagi. Is it the finishing touch Rock needs? Shot after a shot. Then slamming their face down. And more attacks up there could leave him stunned. Each blow affecting his equilibrium. Ducks under. Pele can't catch the side of the head. Ridiculous standing shooting star. He's getting a little batter now. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Up high. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. Scoop slam. Oh, and a stop. Just despicable, menacing. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Sharpshooter, Scorpion Deathlock, call it what you will. It's locked in now. And there he is, he's giving up. Huge fall, captured off the submission. Shockingly, he gets the early. Uh, he could be looking for a submission here. And he locks in a perfectly applied sharpshooter. He is in deep trouble. Could be down a fall if he can't hang on. Yeah, I don't see him getting out. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Oh, a hard impact in the corner. Come on, 
right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. Corey, the superstars get right back in this match. It's almost unbelievable what we're seeing with our own eyes. Believe it, Corey, believe it. Back body drop. Exclamation point. Spine Buster. Here's the cover for the win. And he gets the fall. An arm wrench. DDT. Here he goes for the win. Just like that, he gets a fall. Trying to go for it again. You That has got to be the one. Cover. He gets the fall. Escape just in time. Close fist connects. We're going to apply an agonizing arm bar stretch. Just stretch it out the arm. <laughs> Bullseye with the drop kick. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He's got him in the crosshairs. Off the rope. Oh, no! Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Off the barricade. Oranagi! Oh, the close of this match is just ahead. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. This is a way to incapacitate every inch of your opponent slowly, methodically, and painfully. Just punched him right in the middle. Relentless. Enough already. And he tosses it back in now. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Driven face first. And Locke is really putting the pressure on. Yeah, Locke is proving hard to keep up with. Stop after stop after stop. Reggie counters. Yeah, his instincts are taking over. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Slows that down with a well-placed kick. Placed it. Time runs Here is your winner. And there's huh? the Be Iron Man match winner. You got some nerve showing up in our locker room. Not exactly. 
See, evolution and the hurt business don't really have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong side. And now that decision is going to cost you your Intercontinental Championship. Really? Who's going to take it from me? You? I could. But I've chosen to let Damien Priest do the honors. I'm not scared of Priest. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Let's get to know each other a little bit. What I'm thinking is first, you have a non-title match against Theory. It'll give us a chance to pick apart all your weaknesses before the title match. I know you've been around a long time, but you can't just walk in here and make those kinds of demands for you and your groupies. Tell Priest to get in line. You can only delay the inevitable for so long. Evolution is coming for everything you've got. You change your mind about my proposal? Face theory in a non-title match. Then you get Damien Priest. I think you mean Priest gets me, and he's going to get a lot more than he can handle. We'll see about that. Gabe, you know the plan. I want you out there for Locke's match to make sure Evolution doesn't get involved. No problem. Hold up, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself. And if Evolution does get involved, then I'll be able to get some shots in on Orton and Priest. Don't see a problem there. Or we fall right into their plan, and they get some shots in on you before your title match against Priest. Come on. We need you fresh. Priorities, right? Gabe, you're going out there with them. Just trust me on this, okay? Come on, let's go. A young star with plenty of accolades. The youngest United States champion. It's the future of WWE, The Lock.
and his opponent, accompanied by Gabriel Slade from Maryland, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Beast. Matches of this caliber with this level of talent showing their skills, this is why I do what I do. Lock yourself to your seats. It's time for this man to go to work. The Lock and Theory are squaring off tonight in a hotly anticipated non-title match between two rising stars who have already reached great heights in WWE. The Intercontinental Champ has more than just his IC title with him tonight as Gabriel Slade is in his corner. Makes you wonder, has MVP started losing trust in The Lock? Or is Gabe out here to keep an eye on The Viper? You wonder if Lock's asking the same questions. How's that for a counter? And he sends him into the corner. Wicked clothesline. Oh, a slam that hurt. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. What a bionic elbow. Theory's hopes are waning. The lock isn't holding anything back. Turning fire. If he was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Well, I guess when you're told you're the guy, you start thinking you're the guy because Theory is looking cocky as hell. He wants even more out of his opponent. Close line. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. That holds back Theory's attack. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. He's taking this to the floor now. Shot after shot. Oof, ruthless striking. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. He'll head to the ring. Oh, here it comes. That's how you take an opponent down. Cover! Two! Kicks out. What a match. That's mounted with punches and not... Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Rolling neck snap. Brutal. Momentum on the side of the lock. But Theory can't allow this rush to discourage him. Whoa! Oh, looking to cripple the leg. Oh, a strong impact! Into the corner now, and Theory able to adapt. Austin finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. Austin was getting grinded down, but could have just started a quick turnaround here. Close line! What impact. The body is starting to fail at this point. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Punishing the human body. Wrenching the arm. DDT! He thinks he has it!
Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Unleashing the strikes. Stomping away. Oh. Theory expected that. He eludes the contact. The locks showing that edge, that ruthlessness. And it's scouted. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Theory locked up. Get Nagi. Man, oh man. Has the look settled this. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Paul B. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. All right, let's talk strategy. Lock. I know you didn't want Gabe out there for your last match, but this is too big to risk anything. So I'm going to be in your corner to make sure the Hurt Business protects his assets, if you know what I'm saying. I appreciate the support, but I'm confident I can defend my title on my own. Besides, you were the one who said I was even further along than the almighty Lashley. Let me live up to the hype for once. It's not about all that. Our goal in the Hurt Business is to hold championships, not lose them. And we do that by any means necessary. So I'm not saying you need me to win. But I'm gonna be out there to make sure it happens. Because I know damn straight Evolution will be doing everything they can to take what's ours. Look. I realize they have numbers just like us, but I know I can handle myself. So I'm asking both of you to just stay in the back. No one's gonna think any less of you if you have someone in your corner. Gabe's right. This isn't the time to prove a point. Gabe's gonna say whatever he thinks you wanna hear, but I'm not like that. Yes, we're part of a team, but I'm a future world champion, right? So I need to prove to you and myself that I can do this. That the Hurt Business isn't just a crutch propping me up. You said I was the CEO. So take the handcuffs off and let me make this call. Okay. You're right. I chose you for a reason and this is it. Good luck. We'll be watching. The man. Oh. 
who's going to lay claim to the workhorse title here tonight? Welcome to an electric matchup here on Raw. As The Lock faces the toughest challenge he's had in his young WWE career, defending his Intercontinental title against Evolution's enforcer, Damian Priest. And you better believe Randy Orton and Theory will try to slither into the action to tip the scales towards their man if they get the chance. But will the Hurt Business have The Lock's back if they do? Something tells me the answer will decide who walks away with the title tonight. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Firm control. Oh, what a boot to the face! A rope step! Ah, oh, straight to the floor! Brash decision making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Punishing the human body. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Vicious right forearm. Good golly, Miss Molly. Neckbreaker. Very nice. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head, and Priest is brought to a disadvantage now. This is where that call of Priest will be tested. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Punishing the human body. You want to control... The champion is looking to take things to the air here. But Priest has recovered and grabs a hold of him. The lock's trying to free himself. And he does, but the referee got taken out. Can the champion capitalize on this opening? Orton making his presence known. It looks like Evolution are the ones who are going to capitalize. Shook slam down to the mat. Damian Priest with the pin attempt. The referee's coming too. One, two, three. He did it. We have a new Intercontinental Champion. The evolution of WWE has begun. Evolution was too much for the lock to handle, which makes you wonder, where was the Hurt Business? And now Orton and Evolution are taking it to the former champion. And again, where is MVP and Gabriel Slade? Their teammate just got beat down. Let's not lose sight of the fact that we have a new Intercontinental Champion in Damian Priest, but I agree, there's definitely something off with the Hurt Business. Where's MVP and Slade? They were just heading back towards your locker room. Hey, what the hell was that all about? Where were you? You told us to stay in the back, remember? Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match, but then in case you missed it, Evolution attacked me after. I could have used some backup. This is private business. Do you mind? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your problem? Were you trying to send me some kind of message? Actually, we were on our way out to help you, but I got overruled. By who? Me. What? I've heard people say I'm a follower, that I lack killer instinct, that it's held me back my entire WWE career. <laughs> I'm done with all that. I made the call to stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before any of this hurt business stuff. Teammates? You've never cared about me or anyone else. Every decision you've made has been to benefit you and your career only. Getting me involved in that stupidity with the new day was a wake-up call. And then your stubbornness against evolution only cemented who you are. It cost you your title. But that hurts all of us. So why should we go out of our way to help you? And maybe MVP was cool with you taking the lead, but I'm not. 
At least not as long as you continue to act like an entitled SOB. This is ridiculous. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what MVP wants to hear. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. He's not wrong. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed repeatedly. What's next? You gonna bring the Hurt Business down with you? I can't let that happen. If we're being real, you lied to me from the start. You haven't delivered on any of your promises, especially not the one about making me WWE Champion. I think I can explain that one. It's looking more and more like Gabe is the future world champion in the Hurt Business, not you. Let's face it, you're not the lock. You're the weak link. I don't need you or the Hurt Business. I never did. I'm better off on my own. I quit. Good. Clear your stuff out. I don't want to see your face again. 